All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, today, what I want to talk about is tilt, and specifically, uh, how to not tilt, anti-tilt tips. Um, you know, I, I, I watch a lot of streams of people, and I play RTA, and it's really easy to kind of lose it a little bit and just get frustrated about the circumstances, and it hurts your gameplay, and I think it hurts your experience of playing, it hurts your enjoyment. It's just, you know, it's something that if you could avoid it, it would be smart to avoid it. So I've, you know, put some thoughts down, and I thought I would just kind of share them. I don't, I, I know it's like, you can't just be like, oh, I won't do that then, because Mystery Hunt said these three things, and now I'll never tilt again. Like, I know that, you know, it's not really controllable, but this is just some things I thought of that you can think about that might help you. So, first off, some of these you're not going to like. The first one you're not going to like. RTA is the most fair part of this game. It's the most balanced it's it's the part of the game that is the least unfair. Doesn't feel like it, but it is. Guild Wars, guild stuff, is completely not fair. Like, if you're gonna, like, freak out about the not fairness of the game, go, go let Perna take four turns and tell me which monster lived. It's, there's none. They, they, she kills everything, right? Um, in RTA, they took that away. Season 1 was nuts. Season 1 was so nuts when that was allowed... You could do everything right. You could rune right. You could grind correctly. You know, get your stats in order, get your units, and then the monster would take three or four turns, and that was that was that was game game over. You lose. Nothing you can do. Nothing. Um, but they fixed that. RTA is actually much more fair than any other aspect of the game. You can only take one violent proc. They further balanced the violent disparity. So, you know, if someone was rolling twenty two way more than you you would mostly lose, and now they've adjusted that. You go up, they go down, whatever. So it, it doesn't feel like it, but it is the most fair. So if that helps you at all, keep that in mind. Um, the thing that I think contributes to tilt in this game more than other games that I've noticed is that your success rate in all areas of this game is super, super high, except RTA. Like, in Giants, you win always. So you're just used to victory. You win. You're used to those... You know, uh, look how good I am at this game. I win all the time. Arena, you win pretty much all the time. Siege, you win all the time. I mean, I know you win, lose sometimes, but if your competition is your level, you win all the time. You don't lose. Um, but in RTA, winning is very hard, um, and it's not nearly as frequent as uh, every other aspect of the game. Like me, I win barely over 50% of the time, and that's consistent across all seasons. So it's it feels wrong or incorrect you're like but you know i win in all other aspects but not here something's not fair and it, it's, it is fair it's just that everybody uh is, wants to win and is trying and you know they're no longer hitting your water tank that you put there specifically to take hits they're ignoring it and killing your healer right um so it is it is more fair and you're gonna lose more so just kind of know that um that's one area that they want to win too they're trying their hardest right um, okay, so, there's that. Uh, okay, we talked about that. Okay. Every unit has weaknesses, and every team has weaknesses. And if you allow the weaknesses to go through, or they pick multiple things that you're weak to, you're gonna lose. You're probably gonna lose. Um, you're gonna lose at a higher rate than normal. So already, your rate is 45% loses for me. For other people, it's different. Um, you're already losing half the time. And if you allow their counterpicks to go through, or they just counterpick you well, that number goes up. Your your win percentage goes from 55 to 45, or 35, or more. Um, that's, not, that's not something that is unfair. It's they saw what you did, and countered it, and then beat you. That's what they should do. Um, you know, I see, I see people play that play one consistent style, and don't tend to bend too much in any way like let's say let's say you play turn one turn one control that's that's your style you take turn one you lock them down it's great and it's a good it's a good style has a really good win rate um but then your opponent picks five counters to that you ban whichever one you hate the most and then they have four counters they're out there some of them are ld but there are definitely counters you know they pick the akroma and the juno and the Rakuni and the whatever, Josephine, let's just say those all work. Um, and then you lose. That's, you You would, You would. might tilt, because you're like, this guy has worse units, this guy's lower ranked, um, but he picked perfectly against you, and so he should win, right? I mean, that's that's 
how the game works, right? I mean, you, you should not win against all counters. So if you see you get countered, just be like, ah, oh, man, he's got me. I'm going to try my best. Um, but it's probably not going to work out. Um, that's just how that goes. So, yeah, units have counter picks. The units that are really good are units that really don't have counter picks as much, right? Um, units that are good in all situations. Like, how do you really counter what Yan Hong's trying to do? I mean, she does a lot of things really, really well. Damage, healing, elemental, uh, ignore all elemental stuff. Like, she's light. Um, that's why those units are good. They're harder to counter, and you put yourself into le you put yourself into worse situations less frequently. Um, so that's why those units are good, I think. Um, so that's why that's why they're good. Okay, um, we talked about that. RTA. So, in my opinion, thirty wings in one sitting is a lot to for fun. It's not fun. <laughs> it's it's just not fun. It's too much. Um, three hours straight, however long it takes, of the same thing over and over and over can make you drag. And so that's so why I, I, you know some people play all 30 wings in one sitting and they're having fun and you can just see this bell curve they're having fun and then they're not having fun and then they're still playing and they're not having fun and then it's like the tilt is happening the complaining the sadness um so break it up maybe don't play all your wings um one thing i like to do there's a couple things i like to do you can do five wing sets kind of like you're at the gym i'm going to do five wings no matter what you know do do the five and then take a break you can Go do something else. Come back later. You can look at how things went for you. Why did I lose? Um, but just take a break. Break it up, you know? And then you get to the end of the five wings. You're like, okay, good. We did those. We're good. Um, the other thing I like to do is I set, like, a, a goal per day of my climb, right? So lately it's been 10 points. I try to get 10 points a day. And if I get it, like yesterday, I got it in one match. And that was it. I got my 10 points. And I was done for the whole day. Sometimes it takes, like the day before, it took me eight matches to get 10, which meant up, down, up, down, up, down, and then I finished plus 10. Good. Um, and that way you have a goal that's obtainable, and then you just stop. Because 30 wings is a lot. If you don't, like for me, if I don't get my 10 points, I'll play maybe all 30 wings and not finish plus 10. And then I don't, you don't have to punish yourself for it. Be like, oh, well, you know, it wasn't my day. And the next day, try to get 10 again. Um, that's little things you can do to make it less... Uh, torture i guess um because yeah 30 wings in one setting is not super fun you don't have to play all your wings like i've played more than normal but you know almost 400 which the season's been going on for a while there's been thousand thousand plus wings available and you know you don't have to it's not required you can if you play more you're gonna grind out higher rankings like if i ground out my 55 percent win rate for another 600 wings i'd probably be higher but you know, have fun. It's a game, right? Have fun. It helps you not to tell if you're enjoying what you're doing. Okay. So, this one is kind of weird. People complain about losing to RNG, right? I think losing to RNG is the best way to lose. Right? Um, because if you lose to pure RNG, that means all your choices were correct. And that's all you can control. You can't control RNG. You can't control the procs. You can only control what you pick <clears throat> and how you select their skills and if you pick perfectly for the units you have and you use the skills in the best way possible and you still lose because diana takes three cycles that's not your fault there's no reason to tilt over that it's just bad luck and the game is designed in such a way that the, your bad luck will be balanced with your good luck and the people that internalize that they only have bad luck and they have no good luck i think tend to tilt a little faster because they can never see the good luck they're like you know, they just have this mentality of like, finally, you know, not, whoa, look at that, that's hilarious, you know? Um, so, losing to RNG is the best way to lose. There was a match I played earlier where I did not lose to RNG. I lost because I was not smart. And that made me sad because that was my fault, you know? I think it was, it was, let's see if I can find it. I think this was it. Oh, yeah, this was definitely it. So, I lost right. Oh, man, it's a different version. Well, anyway, I can't show you, but it was a loss. Um... And I was having a great little draft. You know, we were picking bruisers. It was going fine. He picked Leo, which I love. I love when people pick Leo because I feel like I have so many good options against Leo. I just pick things at turn cycle. So Diana against Leo, I like. Vert against Leo, obviously good. And then I picked Odin last pick. That was not smart because it was a bruiser fight. And I gave them a non-bruiser to target. And in fact, Odin's best win targeted. 
Um, and so what did he do? He nuked down Odin through both of his lives and that was it. And I had so many options that would have allowed me to survive um, and have a fighting shot. And I messed up. You know, I picked the wrong thing. It didn't really matter what I did after I mispicked like that. Um, I would have rather have lost to RNG versus just picking something that was not smart. Um, so if you can think about the RNG aspect like that, it's like, it's, it's part of the game. If you don't want RNG, there's chess, right? There's games that have no RNG that you can play that are fun games and are great. And then at least with the RNG, you can be like, oh, there's RNG, not, I don't think I'm smart, as smart as this person playing chess against me. I think he's smarter than me. And that's sad, you know, at least in RNG, you're like, well, I couldn't do anything about it, you know? Um, and the RNG aspect comes with the LDs too. Like if you're playing someone with three top tier LDs, what are you going to do? You know, try your best, give it your best shot. There's some counters you can throw out there, but the RNG for them in the summoning aspect was so good that they have a leg up on you. And that's just the nature of this game. It's not, uh, equal. Like everyone's not equal, right? Everybody has different stuff. So just, just the thought I had that I think might help with the tilt. Um... Okay. The other thing is that uh, that I don't think people take into account is the rankings in the ladder aren't always equivalent to like skill level or rune level at all, right? Um, people play less amounts. Like I play a lot less than some people. Maybe I'm a little bit lower. Some people in C2 and C3 play very, very seldomly and have a huge, a great win rate and great monsters and great runes, but they're lower because they don't want to play that much. And that's totally fine. Like I see people that, you know, you lose to a, a C2 as a G1 and it's like an outrage, right? I'm outraged. This is not fair. This is, this game is BS. I'm going to tilt whatever, but they have just as much a right to the win as you do. And just because they don't want to play as much as you do doesn't make them bad. I mean, if Comptos wanted to divide up the ranks a little bit differently, they could, but that's just a reality of the game. That's how it works. So what are you going to do? Um, the other thing too, is that I don't think people consider rune quality very much as a reason for a loss. They're like, oh, you know, they took the first turn. They got more turns, RNG, whatever. But people have better runes than you. Lots of people have better runes than you. Lots of people have better runes than me. If you don't believe it, go to your world boss and look at your rank. Everybody above you has better runes on PvE monsters than you do. And there's a lot of people. Like, what's that look like for me? It looks like... Like this. So just in global server, in theory, 1,200 people have better runes than me. I bet those people play RTA, don't you think? Um, and it adds up. So like, let's say that one person, on average, his monsters have 5% better rune quality. Say mine are all... Right. Mine are all 100% efficient. Um, and theirs are all 105%. That happens all the time. And it is a total, totally normal thing that happens. Um, their four monsters in the match combined have a combined plus 20% stats. Just all four combined. Five plus five plus five plus five. 20% more stats than me going into the match. That's pretty good. I have to pick way better than them to make up for that deficit, you know? I mean, that shows itself in speed, in HP, in defense, and it adds up. Every turn they take is plus 5%, plus 5%. Every round of turns, they've taken plus 20% more stats in attacking me, in defending against me, um, and it's really, really good. And sometimes you know it, and sometimes you don't. Um, but yeah, if you've ever, like, when I play my alt account, and someone with better runes, like, significantly better runes, hits my units, it's palpable. I mean, they nuke me down in a way that most players my level can't. Um, so sometimes you're just out ruined and that's why you lose. And if you can tell, then you'll be like, oh, well, you know, I'm out ruined. I'm at a deficit here. We're playing chess and they have a queen. I don't have a queen. That's how you lose. Uh, so I don't know. It's hard to get tilted like that. Like imagine like me playing Thompson 10 matches in a row. Am I going to win? maybe one if I pick perfectly and he's messing around with some new unit, but his rune efficiency is so much better than mine um, that he should win. Like he's put in the time, the effort, the money, the research into making that a reality for him. And I have not, right? Um, I mean, I, I would think his units are probably at least 10% better rune than mine, which in a whole team is 40% cumulative, 40%. Imagine trying to overcome a 40% deficit. You're, you're playing um, football 
and I don't, you know, maybe you're in middle school and you weigh 100 pounds and they weigh 140 pounds. You're linemen. How's that going to work? You know what I mean? So sometimes, you know, you just got to tip your hat and be like, you, uh, you got better stuff. You got better stuff than me. You're a race car driving and you have a V6 and they have a V8. How are you going to win? Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. So those are, those are the things that I thought in general were kind of anti-tilt things to think about, keep in mind. Um, hopefully that helps. If anybody else has any other tips or tricks, you know, I'd love to hear them. I'm sure they'd be helpful. But, you know, enjoy enjoy the game as best you can. It's fun. It's a fun game. RTA, I think, is really fun. I love the turn-based nature of it, the massive amounts of choices, the massive amounts of builds. Um, and so, yeah, see if, see if you can, uh, if you have tilt, tilting issues, maybe kind of consider consider those things in the future. If you know somebody that tilts, yeah, we all know somebody. Uh, everybody tilts a little bit sometimes, at the very least. Um, but yeah, maybe keep those things in mind and hopefully that'll help you out. So uh, I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Have fun.